Welcome to another episode of Inspired Content. This is another taste test, uh, doing another series of chips. I found these. These were recently re released. These are the Try All Four Flavor All Stars from Past by Lay's. So I'm going to give each one of these a try and give my thoughts and feelings and ideas they may inspire. So, let's get into that. First one is... Uh, we did the... I, I think I have had the truffle fries before, so we'll give those a taste again. I do think these are just one of the best chips out there. Mm. It's got a very kind of buttery taste to start with. There's kind of like a hint of like a Parmesan or a Romano cheese. Some of the uh, some of the herbs. Uh, it's. It's overwhelmingly, it's that buttery flavor, I think, that really comes out most. What else they got on there? You know, there's a little bit of, there's definitely that garlic. That's That was the other thing. It's very kind of garlic bread taste. Reminds me of garlic bread more than anything. You know, I have to admit, I'm very excited for this one. Smoked Gouda and chives. I love a good smoked Gouda. Oh wow. Yeah, it's got that cheesy smell. Hmm. There you go. For a moment there it tasted very subtle. And I mean Gouda can be a a mellow cheese taste. It's not like that sharp. Yeah. But when it's a smoked gouda, the, the smoked flavor kind of gives it that little bit of bite to it. I was missing that with the first one. You get the sense of a cheese flavor, a light, light cheese flavor with a little bit of a smoky flavor. Yeah. And if you really search for it, you can pick out the chive in there. But it's not super obvious. I could go with a little bit heavier on the Gouda flavor. Chicken and waffles. Now this is not something I've ever had the impulse to eat, but I've been kind of curious as to why people are so fascinated by it. So I guess I'm going to find out. I'll give that a try. That's weird. Well, the waffle's definitely there. And there's the chicken. They got the flavors right. There's a very kind of... And it's not like cheap waffle flavor. It's like a real waffle. A really good waffle. A little bit of maple in there. And the chicken comes through at the back, which is weird. That's... I don't know that it's a food combination I would have ever said, oh yeah, that totally needs to happen. But... I mean, it's an interesting novelty flavor. I don't know. It's something I'd go for all the time. And now we have Sriracha. Let's see what we got from that. Huh? This is probably going to be go lightly. 
Whoa. There's definitely a vinegar smell to it. I guess it's all right. I don't know that I've ever been a sriracha fan. I don't dislike it. I just don't feel the need for it. But as like a hot sauce goes, that's not bad. It's got a pretty good balance of the the spice with the vinegary flavor. And the spice isn't just a blunt spice. It's it's a present, and then it builds a little, and it doesn't like spike and block out everything else, but it's well-balanced hot sauce, I'll say that. I mean, this sort of being my first experience with anything with sriracha, spice is an accent, not the purpose of a flavor. So out of those three, I still say the, uh, the truffle fries get my top rank. That's going to be a truffle fries. I'm going to say 9.4 out of a 9.7. And I think that's a little low for me, but I think that's just because they're addictive. one of those things where like the flavor is good but I don't know that I need to eat the whole bag but I easily could and I want to appreciate the flavor slightly not be addicted to them or the chicken and waffle for number two. I think I'm probably gonna go with the chicken and waffle. I, I would get, I would I would say that's a 5.6 out of a 6.0. Maybe 6 I mean they got the flavors right. It's it's clear what you're eating when you do that. It's a flavor I wouldn't have thought to use or try or put on a chip. But it's not bad on a chip either. And the intensity of the flavors is about right. It doesn't need to be stronger and it doesn't benefit from being any weaker. So chicken waffles does it about right. Now smoked good and chives, they smell great. They taste a little bit weak. I think they could use a little more punch. say seven two out of seven seven. No, nah, seven two out of seven six. They're good. And now the sriracha. 
they are a spicy chip. So they are about a 5.6 out of a 6.1 for me. I mean, it's... <laughs> there is a nice taste to it, but I'm like, I'm five chips in, I'm like, eh, I'm good. I don't need them anymore. <clears throat> the flavors balance well. But once that bag's done, I don't think I'll ever have the urge to purchase another bag like that. So I think for me that kind of that kind of ends it. That's so I'll, you know, let's get into the um Oh, these it inspires. All right, the Lee's potato chip uh, revivals. The the four flavors that were um, past flavors they brought back it was truckle fries, sriracha, um, gouda and chives, and chicken and waffles. And the ideas that they inspired. Maple vanilla french fries. If you could find a way to get whatever they did to get the maple flavor for those chicken and waffle ones, if you could just get that maple flavor in there and just a hint of like powdered vanilla, I think those would be spectacular. Um, like salt shaker kind of thing you could dust over fries to make like a dessert fry. Okay, so if you're gonna if you're gonna do chicken and waffles, I mean they should have. There's a they're, they're waffle cut chips. You could you could have done that, but in those lights, I I don't necessarily feel that the the chicken contributed anything much to that flavor. So I'm gonna say just plain waffle flavored, yeah, you know, waffles with maple syrup and maybe a hint of butter. Um, Waffle cut chips would be fine just as, as they are without the chicken. I want to try maybe just a little bit of like maple coating on french fries and dust it with a bit of toasted and uh, finely ground uh, pecans and see if like a, a maple pecan french fry would be and an enjoyable snack. Salsa fresca. You just gotta do a salsa fresca um, in sort of like, if you, if you could freeze dry it like you would like a um, astronaut ice cream where you can crumble it up into a fine dust and sprinkle that over uh, french fries, fresh batch of french fries with a little bit of salsa fresca dusted over it would be delicious. Okay, we we tried some sriracha. It's a dipping sauce for some things, and sometimes it's a condiment you put on other things. But if we're gonna do Asian dipping sauces, you've got to do a duck sauce, a sweet and sour, or a duck sauce that you can flavor chips with. That would be great. I would totally love that. Grilled cool cheese. I mean, it's butter and American cheese. Not a lot of people love American cheese. Whatever. A good classic comfort food is a grilled cheese sandwich. And if you can make a potato chip, trigger all those right memories of the buttered, fried in a pan, American cheese. If you could pull that off, that would be a comfort food that I imagine a lot of people would snack up on. Alright, so those are the ideas for this round of uh, food items. I will see you for the next round. Take care, and happy creating.